The video you guys have all been waiting for. The official beginner's dribble tutorial for NBA 2K25 all heights. Make sure you drop a like, sub, turn on post notifications. I'm going to give you guys dribble moves and I'm going to teach you guys how to trigger all of the animations. Now I'm going to go over an advanced dribble tutorial that will come in a few days. This is just the beginners because I know a lot of people are just struggling with the simple stuff. Speed boosting, stuff like that. I'm going to show you some of the more complicated stuff I know how to do. But this is the stuff. That would be hard for the everyday regular person. So I'm not just going to jump in and teach you guys how to do, you know, all these crazy different things in the first video and teach you all the simple stuff in the first video, because then I'm just going to be pushing you guys too fast. So in this first video, I don't know why my clips will not play, but I'll show you guys the drill moves anyways. In this first video, I'm going to show you guys all the basic stuff, how to trigger all the animations, and I'm going to give you guys all of my animations. And then in the second one, we'll go over all the glitchy stuff, the spins, the breakdowns, everything like that. So first things first, we're going to go over the dribble style and speed boosting. Now I'm going to give you guys all my dribble moves in one second here after I talk about the speed boosting. But the speed boosting is the first thing we're going to go over. I'm on my small guard for this because I still haven't found like the best best sigs for speed boosting on tall guards. And on my tall guard I don't have all the animations unlocked because I haven't hit starter 3. I still move on my tall guard. I honestly think I move better on my tall guard than my small. But as far as speed boosting, there's way better speed boosting sigs, dribble styles, and stuff like that for smalls. So I'm going to be on my small right now. So the first thing I'm going to tell you guys is that the two main speed boosts, we talked about this in a previous video, is the opposite ball hand cross. Now the sigs I got on, the opposite ball hand cross is not crazy. The other sigs I got on my tall guard, which I'll show you guys, the opposite ball hand side is crazy. So it really just depends. With this one, it's really same side. As you guys can see, my same side speed boost is good. And my launch out of moves is good. So on this one, it just has pretty good launches. It doesn't really have that cross launch. But the main two speed boosts that are the most effective is that cross launch and the same side hezzy. Now to do the same side hezzy, you're just going to hold R2 and flick your right stick straight to the same side the ball's in. So if the ball's in your right hand, it's going to go straight to the right. That's literally all you do, straight to the right, and then you take off and start running, and you'll get a good speed boost if you have the right SIGs. It all depends on your SIGs. You're going to have to play around with them, see which different SIGs have what different speed boosts. Because like I said, this one, I could just take off and run, and it's pretty fast. Some other ones you try and take off and run and it's going to be like a turtle. But then this one, the cross launch is kind of terrible. The in between legs launch is really good, but the cross launch is horrible. As you guys can see, that in between legs crunch, I mean cross launch is good. So it really just depends. The speed boosting all depends on your dribble style and animations you got equipped. Because like I said, mine has really good same side speed boost. And it has really good just launches out of dribble moves. But then that cross launch is absolutely terrible. So it just depends on your dribble moves with the speed boost. But those are the two main speed boosts is the cross launch where you just flick the right stick up to the opposite side. And then you take off and run. And then that same side hesitation. Other than that, there is some dribble styles that will let you just speed boost out of moves by holding R2 and run out. Like the one that I got on, which is Darius Garland. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the dribble moves. This video, I'm not having a hand cam on the screen just because everything in this video, I swear, is going to be the easiest stuff that you could do. Everybody could do all the stuff that I'm going to teach you in this video without even needing to see a hand cam. Honestly, you could probably just listen to the video and learn how to do this stuff because this is all just one little flick with the stick or one little this. It's not flicking it here, here, there, there. That's what the advanced one is going to be for. The advanced one... We'll definitely get to that. That'll have the hand cam for sure. But like I said, that's the speed boosting stuff. Now I'm going to show you guys the animations on my small guard. Then I'm going to switch to my tall guard because I like comboing on my tall guard better. Even though these SIGs are nice, I am going to show you a couple things with these SIGs real quick. So then when I'm talking about different moves with the tall guard, you guys can see what those moves would look like on this build. So it kind of, so you could kind of get, you know what I mean? You, you could get what exactly is going on and you could 
you can understand everything that is being shown and not just be confused. So I'm just showing you guys some of the moves that I have equipped on my guard right now. So then you can see when I talk about the stuff in the video and when I'm talking about different animations, you could kind of think of those animations if you're on the small guard or whatever. But everything is done exactly the same. It might be different animations, but all the moves are triggered exactly the same. So this will be a really easy tutorial. Like I said, it's just one flick here, one flick there. I'm going to just teach you guys how to trigger every animation. And then from there, if you don't like my animations, you could just go and play through all the animations and find something that fits you because you'll know how to trigger every single one of them. You won't be sitting there trying to do a 2K24 move and it's triggering something completely different because you don't know what you're doing. So next thing we're going to talk about, we already talked about the dribble style. As you guys can see, the cross launch on this one is way better though. So as far as cross launching... That's what I mean, like all dribble styles are different. They all got different, you know, perks and different downfalls. Some of them are good launches, some of them are bad. This one's got a pretty good regular launch that I like. I like to just take off, hit this little step back, take off, hit the step back. But yeah, it all depends on your dribble style and stuff like that. The next thing I'm gonna show you guys is the sig size up. Let me show you the dribble moves real quick on the tall guard before I show you guys the sig size up. I'm basically going to break down how to do everything. Six size up, regular breakdown, aggressive breakdown, escape moves, combo moves, crossover, behind the back, spin, hesitation, step backs, go-to shots, shot canceling. And I'm going to show you a couple combos that I like to do with them. So these are the dribble moves that I'm using on my tall guard. Now I can show you guys how to do the rest of the things. When it comes to the six size up, that's just flicking your right stick. No R2, no nothing. You don't have to move. Just flick your right stick pretty much any direction. Get it behind the back, everything. That's based off of your SIG size up right there. So your SIG size up will determine all of that. And that's pretty much how you trigger it is just by flicking the right stick without having anything activated. Like I said, this is all very easy. You should be able to do that very easily. The SIG size up, I like this one because... I could do the crab and I could do that and it might seem slow but in game when I'm actually piecing it together and using it like that it looks pretty clean actually in game when I'm not sitting here just fooling around. Next thing I'm going to show you guys is the regular breakdown. Now the regular breakdown this is another easy move just sit there stand still flick your right stick straight up boom you're getting that regular breakdown combo. There's a lot of really good regular breakdown combos. I think there's better regular breakdown combos and aggressive breakdown combos for tall guard. I mean for small guards, but there's still some solid ones for tall builds. Like mines are solid. I got the Michael Jordan there, so then I could do some stuff like that. There's a lot of solid ones for tall builds too. Now the aggressive breakdown, now that I showed you the regular one, the aggressive one is the same way. So you're gonna flick your right stick straight up. But this time, you're just going to be holding R2 while you do it. So R2, right stick straight up. Boom. You'll get your um, you'll get your, your little aggressive breakdown combo. The next thing I'm going to show you guys is the escape. Now the escape, this is another easy move that you could do. And if you do the double escape, you could get a nice crab move like that. And you could piece that into the step back. Gets a lot of ankle breakers and it'll get you open a lot. So to do the escape move, all you're going to do is hold R2 and flick your right stick diagonally up to the opposite side the ball's in. So if the ball's in your left hand, you're going to flick it just up to the right to like 2-3 o'clock. So ball's in your left hand, hold R2 up to the right. Bang, you get the crab. And then if you go up to the right and then you go back to the left. You'll get basically that double crab move that I showed you a minute ago. So it's basically just doing the escape. If you try to spam the escape and do it from... So if the ball is in your right hand and you're flicking it up to the left. And then you try to flick it back to the right. That's when you'll get that long crab type move. And I still like that move a lot. Or you could just do the escape. And you can chain it with your sig size up. The escapes go really good with Steve Francis. If you could get Steve Francis or some of the small guard SIG size ups, they go really good with some of the escapes to where you could combo really nicely with them. Almost to where 
you could combo like you had the momentum from last year because you got that endless chain with the Steve Francis and the Crab that you could just do endlessly. Now the next thing is the combo moves. I don't really use combo moves. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even really know how to trigger them. I don't think they're that effective. But I don't really use the combo moves. So I'm going to skip that one out. Next one is the crossover. Crossover is pretty easy. All you got to do is run down the court and then flick your right stick to the opposite side. So if the ball is in your left hand, flick it up to the right. Boom, you'll get that crossover. And then you can just take the ball up or do whatever you want to want. Do it. Do whatever you want with it. The next thing is the behind the back. To do the behind the back, you're going to hold R2. My behind the back sucks because I use it for standstill and I don't use it for moving. When you want to do it for standstill, you're going to hold R2. Flick your right stick to the same side the ball's in. So if the ball's in your left hand, you're going to flick it straight to the left. And then you're going to flick it down to the right. So down to the right will be about 4 or 5 o'clock. So straight to the left, down to the right, you'll get that animation right there. That's how you trigger the standing behind the back. Now to trigger the moving one, instead of flicking your right stick to the same side like I just told you a minute ago, you're going to throw that out. So you're just going to hold R2 and then flick your right stick diagonally down to the opposite side. So if the ball is in your left hand, 4 or 5 o'clock like I said a minute ago. It's literally the same thing, just moving. And you're not going to use that right stick to flick it to the same side. You're just going down. So that's how you do the behind the back. Now the next thing is spin. The spins are pretty easy. All you really have to do is kind of just to spin with your controller. You kind of just mimic the spin that you want to create. Like, I don't know. You just do a half spin with your controller. You just spin your remote. That's literally all you do. All you do, and then based on the angle you're running at, that's how you're going to want to make the angle when you're spinning with your remote. So if you're spinning over, like, it just depends on the direction you're running in. All you're going to want to do is spin with your remote. It's basically just like Madden almost. And the different angles you're running at and the different angles you spin at will give you different spin animations. Like you've seen, I was running upwards, same spin. You know, if I'm running backwards, it gives me that which I use to chain into my other combos. That's the glitchy spin. There's the half spin. It all depends what angle you're running at, but it's all pretty much the same thing, just rotating the right stick in a spin spin type of you know formation. Now, the next thing I'm going to tell you guys is the hesitation. Now, the hesitation, my hesitation sucks on this build. You guys seen the hesitation on my small guard, that same side, Hezzy? It was fast on my other build, but this build, it absolutely sucks. That's why I said my speed boosting SIGs for this build aren't really the best. But I already taught you guys how to do that earlier. So all you're going to want to do is hold R2, flick your right stick straight to the same side the ball's in. So if the ball's in your right hand, straight to the right, and then you're just going to take off and run. If I let it play out for a minute, I get a faster speed boost. But it's usually the PGs with the better SIGs that end up getting the way better speed boosts out of those hesitations. Now the next thing I'm going to show you guys is a step back. You're going to hold R2, flick your right stick straight down. Boom, you'll get the step back. Just look through the animations that I have on my small and tall guard. I have the same exact step back almost on both of them. And these get so many ankle breakers. It creates so much space. It catches people off guard. It's definitely something that you guys are going to want to have and add into your bag because I was playing yesterday and I got broke like four times in a row. This dude broke my ankles with the same exact move. And it was almost to the point to where he was spamming it because he knew it would break my ankles. So right now this move is super overpowered and I would definitely say you guys want to add it to your bag. Now the next thing is the go-to shots. You're going to hold R2 and then hold your right stick straight up for a second. Boom, go to shot activated. As you guys can see, I could cancel it and do a lot of different combos out of my go to shots because I like the go to shots a lot. All you're doing is holding R2 and then holding your right stick straight up. Now, this go to shot I got right now is basically got the curry slide. It's like a little curry slide, as you guys can see, and it almost just cancels it itself. You don't even really got to cancel it because if you're not going to shoot it, it won't shoot it. I wasn't doing nothing to cancel it. All I did was held my right stick up for a second, and it cancels itself. So I really like this because it's got that curry slide. 
and i like to piece that curry slide into that moonwalk into that half spin that you guys seen a minute ago so you guys could you know what i'm saying moonwalk half spin crab step back you could basically do whatever you want out of it it's a really nice way to chain your combos and like i said we'll get into the advanced stuff later right now i'm just teaching you how to do this stuff because after i teach you how to trigger all the animations and you can find good animations for you then when i teach you all the advanced moves you'll already be ready and you'll already know how to trigger everything so all you'll need to know is the advanced moves so that's pretty much how you do the go-to shots now the shot canceling which i like this one on my small guard a lot better because i have better small guard hop jumpers but there's still nice hop jumpers that you can use to get speed boosts out of and these hop jumpers are honestly insane like you can get really good speed boosts out of some of them mine isn't the best on my build but all you really got to do is just a hop jumper hold, hold i mean run hold r2 and then hold your right stick down you'll get a hop jumper animation and then you just let go of everything and speed boost out it's really easy i mean that's pretty much a lot of stuff that I like to use in this game man you could piece a lot of this stuff together like the aggressive breakdown combo you guys see me piece that into the um go to shot right there there's a lot of these moves that you're just basically gonna piece together that was the regular breakdown aggressive breakdown and the step back that i just combined right there it might look you know simple or nothing crazy but this is the way you're gonna have to combo this year I mean, I'm going to learn. I have a lot of glitchy stuff under my sleeve. Like I showed you guys just a minute ago with the go-to shots, I've already learned, you know, probably more than a lot of people have. You see the glitchy way I'm moving right now. It's honestly insane. So the advanced dribble tutorial is coming soon. This is just the basics on how to actually trigger every single animation and how to, you know, learn what animations are good for you, how to use all the different inputs and stuff like that. And then from here, you got my dribble moves, you got my inputs, you could chain together a lot of things like the go-to shot. You could do the go-to shot, this right here. You could chain all this together right now by yourself. Besides the half spin, probably, you could do all of that besides the half spin. And the half spin, that's the glitchy stuff that I told you guys about. We'll get into that. If y'all want that glitchy tutorial, get this to a thousand likes, man. Y'all been going crazy on my videos. One of my other videos hit like 50k in less than a day. So if you guys want that dribble tutorial, I know y'all could definitely get this to a thousand likes. So get this to a thousand likes and I'll give y'all the advanced one with all the glitchy moves. I'm going to try and learn a couple more before I do drop it. But just know it will be coming soon. For right now, you guys should be straight and you guys should be able to just combo up and just do your thing, man.